Okay, so I'm recording myself. This is the start of our class, and I'll I'll go through this until we get to the to the video, and I'll cut it out so the video is not on there. It don't have to be on there because you have you have access to the video. So once again, your first few questions on your ABE form are uh, what are three cities that you can locate with a population of between two and five million people? I've got the map pulled up to every to answer the first two questions of the bell work. There's only two questions. You can see those cities, they're a square with a white center. Uh, those There's seven of them listed. You can pick any three. I don't care which three you pick. You pick the three that you think are the most interesting uh, out of those seven. Then the next question, which region of Florida is most densely populated? We are going to divide Florida. If you look down there at Florida, and you should see where that's at, it's got the cities of Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, Tallahassee, uh, Lake Okie, Shelby. Um, that's Florida down there, the most, the most southeastern state. We're going to divide Florida into the northern section, the central section, and the southern section. The northern section has Tallahassee and Jacksonville in it. The central section has Orlando and Tampa in it. The southern section has Miami in it. Okay. So, based upon that, the northern section, the central section, and the southern section, which of those sections of Florida has the most densely populated areas in it? Okay. So, you're going to answer that uh, that way. And then we're going to move on. And I'm, of course, this is for the, the video instruction. Then we're going to move on in, in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go over the slideshow that we're going to see. Uh, and then we'll start the video. You're going to have a slideshow today with two Indian tribes on it. We're going to have the other two tribes tomorrow. So today's tribes we're, you're going to look at are the Caddo and the Quapaw. Okay. Uh, we'll look at two other tribes tomorrow. So you've got a slide talking about the historic Indians from 1673 to present, kind of Indians that live that have lived in Arkansas, the kind of Native Americans. The first of those that we're going to talk about are the Caddo. You've got one, two, three, four, five slides on the Caddo. Okay. Then you've got four questions. What is the location of the Caddo? What kind of food, shelter, and way of life do the cattle have? Uh, when did the cattle settle in Arkansas? What were the main events during their time period? What impact did they make? And what made them unique from the other tribes in Arkansas? So you can use those slides to answer those four questions. Then you got another set of slides. Paul, Paul. Uh, you, you've actually got four slides or someone showing three right now i will get the fourth one i'm missing one slide i will get it in before the end of the day but you will use those four slides about the pawpaw to answer the same four questions about them what's the location of the pawpaw where did they live at in arkansas and what we know about arkansas today what kind of food and shelter way of life did the pawpaw experience when when did the pawpaw begin to settle in arkansas what were the main events during the time period what impact did they make and then the last question, same one as for the cattle. What made the Quapaw unique? How were they different from the cattle? Okay, uh, in Arkansas. So you're going to answer those two, those four questions, the same four questions on each of these two tribes, the Quapaw tribe and the cattle tribe. And so it's right there, all in your um, ABE form. And then, of course, what we're fixing to watch, I'm fixing to cut off the video because we're fixing to watch. The and I forgot to show it, so let me just show it one more time, just for just for a little bit more benefit. We're fixing to watch this video. Let me just bring it up on the screen. What if disease did not wipe out Native American tribes? You got to remember, much of the like the tribes in Arkansas, whenever DeSoto and then LaSalle came through Arkansas exploring, DeSoto came through the 1500s, LaSalle came through the 1700s they both brought diseases and by the time the south came through much of the arkansas native americans were wiped out they no longer existed villages that had as many as say ten thousand people in them had less than a thousand by the time the south came through just a few hundred years later 
So thousands upon thousands of, of Native Americans who lived in what we call Arkansas today died as the result of exposure and contact with the Europeans. Uh, the Europeans didn't kill them, uh, you know, like in a war, but their their diseases did. So once again, real quick, you've got we're looking at two tribes today: the Quapaw tribe and the Caddo tribe. The first slides are on the Caddo. You're going to go through their slides. There they are, right there, real quick. I'm just going to scan through them because you've got them on your ABE form. Then you're going to answer those questions: What was the the Caddo location? Where did they live? What food and shelter and what life did they experience? Did the cattle experience? When did the cattle begin to settle in what we call Arkansas Day? What were the main events during their time period? What impact did they make? And then what made the, the cattle unique? Um, if you don't know, if you've ever been to Arkadelphia, where uh, Washington Baptist University is and Henderson State University is, and you, the, the exit that you take to go to Arkadelphia or, or to go to Hot Springs on the other side, that exit is called Caddo Valley. You can probably guess why it's called Caddo Valley because that's where many of the cattle Indians live in that area of Arkansas. So uh, then, of course, we got the Quapaw. You're going to answer the same question. You got uh, another set of slides on the Quapaw. I'm going down through them. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to answer the same questions about the Quapaw that you get on the cattle. The cattle. Where do they live? What location of Arkansas do they live in? What kind of food and shelter and way of life did they experience? When did the Quapaw begin to settle in Arkansas? The Quapaw typically settled in Little Rock, okay, along the Arkansas River in Little Rock area. Uh, but they did travel all the way down the river, all the way to Memphis, and then all the way back. To Little Rock, they would travel back and forth for trade with other with other tribes in what's now Tennessee. Uh, and of course, the uniqueness of the Quapaw, what made them what made them unique from other tribes in Arkansas. So you're going to answer those questions based upon those slides in the ADE form, and then I'm going to go ahead and show the video right now i'm going to stop the recording for the class and then the video we're going to watch together and then we'll go over the slides together okay so let me go up here and get the video going there it is and i'm going to go ahead and stop the recording <laughs> 